What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where we learn, do, and talk about photography until we're sick of it. And can you believe it's already time for another year in images review where I share my favorite photos from the year. Historically how I do this is I'll go through my Instagram feed and sort of showcase my most liked photos of the year so that I can reflect on my year, maybe brag a little bit about my photographic successes and, and hopefully give you guys some useful insights as my fellow photographers of what worked for me and didn't work for me on social media that year. Uh, but hopefully I'm not the only one for whom Instagram has taken like a dramatic downhill slide of importance over the course of this year. So I'm not sure that that will be the most useful way to look at my work over the year. And so I think what I'll do instead is just share a few of my favorite photos uh, that are representative of the three big uh, photography projects that I was engaged in this year. And at the end of the video, I will show you my most like Instagram photo of the year and uh, tell you a little bit of the story behind the photo. And the best way I can think of to do that is to also share a little bit of a song. So all that's coming up in this video, 2022 year in review, let's do it. Dig this ASMR. So my, the project that I'm engaged in right now uh, is my annual calendar. I think we'll start here at the end of the year and work my way backwards. So a lot of the images in this calendar you've seen made right here on the YouTube channel. So I think that's very cool. Some of this will look familiar to you. I'll try to find something in here that I haven't shown on the channel to showcase as the image to represent this project. So every year for the last four years, I've made a calendar to show off the scenery of my home county, Knox County, Indiana. And this year, uh, with the help of a fellowship from the Indiana Arts Commission, I've been able to take on a more ambitious project to show off the scenery of the state more broadly. So if you're a fan of Indiana state imagery or just rural and Americana imagery, and you'd like to pick one of these up for the same price as the generic calendar you would get at a decor store, $14.99, shipped right to your door, uh, you can still get a calendar that supports my artwork at uh, indiana-charms.com or my website, mattramsey.gallery or via link in the video description. So I think maybe a good photo to show off is this one from the month of May. So this can be your May this year, celebrating this beautiful firefly photo from a forest in Clay County. So usually you'll hear a lot about the calendar in promotion that I do on my social media, but I was really light on that this year because there was a, a big technical hiccup in the printing process of the calendar that was kind of beyond my control. And I didn't want to really heavily promote it and advertise it and run into a situation where I couldn't uh, get it to people in time for the holidays or for the new year. But I've got them in stock now and um, if, I'll make a deal. If you're, if you're one of the next 10 people to order one, I'll also throw in one of these cool Indiana Charms water bottle stickers for you. Just before calendar assembly season in June, I had another really cool opportunity to host my very first uh, gallery exhibit of my photos. So uh, I called the exhibit The Little Woods on the Wabash. Uh, it features scenery from four years of photographing a local forest preserve in my home county and it was displayed in a local community art gallery. I made a video about that that I'll link up here in a card and in that video I said that I would make a future video to, to give some more insights and details into what my sales figures look like and how, how feasible and successful the uh, the gallery exhibit was. And so in the months since I made that video, it was it became clear to me that it didn't really merit its own video. And so I'll just, I'll, I'll give you that information here in this video. And while I'm doing that, I'll reel uh, some of the uh, photos from the exhibit together. And you can still see the entire exhibit on my website and order remaining prints uh, that remain from the editions that were offered in the physical gallery. So if you go to mattramsey.gallery, you can see the full collection. So the initial investment money that I raised to build the physical installation, I did through uh, pre-selling an exclusive print that was only available to people who committed to support the project. A lot of those were purchased by you guys here on the YouTube channel. So I've got some exciting news to report on the success of the show and what it was able to do in the community. So, so first off, I hope you enjoyed the exclusive print that you got. Um, your purchase also built this exhibit, uh, which was enjoyed by people who wouldn't ordinarily be able to own my artwork who maybe wouldn't usually experience my artwork in person. And it was especially enjoyed by people who, for various reasons, can't physically access uh, the woodland location that my photos featured. I was able to sell, I think, about $700 on opening night. And for that, I was able to commit 20% to the art gallery, 20% to the parks department, and I was able to make an additional donation on behalf of you guys who brought the pre-sale prints. So I'm very happy to report that for the first time here on the channel today. And so all told, the gross revenue for the project, including what I brought in through pre-sales, uh, through the donated artwork, 
um, and through sales on opening night. And as the uh, show continued to hang throughout the month of June, I brought in in the neighborhood of a couple thousand dollars. And so uh, I, it, it was a great experience and I'm pleased with what I was able to do. So thank you guys so much for supporting. If you ever get the chance to do anything like that with your photography, I highly recommend it. So uh, I really thought that the art gallery was going to be like the first big project that I would tackle this year. Uh, you may recall that I started out this year having just returned from four months of studying abroad in Scotland on a scholarship that I was awarded last year. And uh, every day people were hounding me on social media, Matt, we know you just got back from Scotland. We know you've got the goods. We know you've got some fantastic Scotland pictures. Please share it with us. And so maybe I felt a little pressure to to capitalize on that, uh, that interest and excitement while it existed. And so my first big project of the year was actually culling through and developing all the files from my time in Scotland and assembling them into a gallery, which you can still see on my website. There are over a hundred photos taken in all seasons of the Scottish landscape. Uh, again, my website is mattramsey.gallery. I think mattramsey.gallery slash Scotland will take you directly to that exhibit. But at this time last year, I was actually uh, holed up in a really cheap hotel in Glasgow, sort of just like waiting for my flight to take off. And the weather was awful and everything was closed for the holiday season. But what was really frustrating was I was like inches away from the iconic landscape of the Scottish Highlands and I hadn't got to see that for my entire trip and I just didn't have the money to get there. So I was sitting in the doldrums of my hotel room when I received a, a fortuitous phone call from my brother. Uh, with whom I left a piece of gear to try to sell to tell me that he had sold the gear. So with like three days left in Scotland, I jumped onto a bus to Inverness. I rented a rickety old rental car and like left hand stick shifted that thing up into the mountains of the Highlands and had a great time photographing the Highlands. And uh, one of the last photos that I got to take in Scotland was my number one Instagram photo of this year, which I'll show you in just a second. But first I wanna give you a little bit of insight into like my headspace of making the photo. So I call the photo Bonnie Bonnie, and if you go visit the gallery, you'll be greeted with that photo as the introductory photo on the website. And uh, uh, the reason I, I call it that is because of the lyrics to this song that you've probably heard. I learned this song in the fourth grade in a uh, dusty trailer park school in Texas thousands of miles from the place where it was uh, pinned. I had just made it into the Highlands and I pulled the rental car up into a little gravel road where I saw a beautiful lake that beckoned to me in the blue hour. It just looked fantastic under the cloudy sky in the blue hour. And I walked out across a little uh, wooden plank bridge over a creek. And I, I, I walked out across the marsh I was surrounded by sheep. And what I was thinking about was, you know, sort of the bittersweet feeling of both the excitement of being in this, this grand and iconic landscape and sort of also having to say goodbye to Scotland and all the friends that I'd made there over the, my four month stay. And, you know, that, uh, that sweet sorrow of parting that someone who's better with words than me uh, talked about. And I sat there among the sheep while my camera made this 30 second exposure. And I sang this song to the sheep that I had, had learned as a boy in Texas. And it goes like this. Oh, you take the high road and I'll take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland the four me and my true love will never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond. I had one last travel ambition that I wanted to accomplish while I was in Scotland, which was to uh, ring in the new year, singing Old Lang Syne in a Scottish pub, in the uh, land from which we, uh, in most of the rest of the English speaking world have co-opted that tradition. So I got back to Inverness and I wandered down to a little pub and linked arms with strangers on the dance floor. And we rang in the new year singing Old Lane Sign. And the master of ceremony said, we got one last Scottish traditional we'd like everyone to sing. 
and I heard these chords ramp up, and I belted out at the top of my lungs. Oh, you take the high road. And I looked around, and I was the only one who knew the words.